Today, I'm gonna show you how to add skin glow using DaVinci Resolve. Now, I've already marked out where I want uh, the glow to happen. So, I'm going to make a cut here, a cut there, and then I'm going to duplicate this thingy right here by holding left alt, left click, and dragging it into video track number two. And now, what I'm going to do is right click and render in place. Save this somewhere that you can easily find. The reason why we're doing this is because we have to rotoscope the skin. And while we could do this in DaVinci, it's kind of a long clip and it would be a, a pain to do. So we're gonna use Runway ML. All you're gonna do is create your first project, green screen, and then open up where you have that video and uh, drop it onto the timeline. Now what's really nice about Runway is that we just have to make a couple dots here and it's gonna do its thing. And it, it should give us just the Vandal skin all rotoscoped out nicely. Apparently not. Uh, it, it's not a big deal though because we just have to make a couple more dots, you know, like in the areas where we don't have the roto. Now before you go to done masking, just hit preview and make sure that it's actually rotoscope, ooh, rotoscoping everything that you want. It's a little messed up in the beginning, you know, like that should be out, but you know, it's not a big deal because we're gonna keyframe this in and out. So once you're done, obviously hit done masking and it's going to actually show you the video that you're gonna get. Once you're satisfied with the roto, you're gonna head on over to uh, export here. But uh-oh, we can't render in 1080p, only 720. It's not a big deal though, because we're gonna use this as a mat. So just export this in 720p. Once again, save it somewhere you can easily find and open up DaVinci Resolve. So I got the runway video all imported here. We're gonna make a little space here and we're gonna place it in video track number three. Now what we can do is highlight both of these videos and then right click new fusion clip, open up fusion, ba bam. So media into that is our green screen video. We can double check this by hitting one on our keyboard and that brings it into the first viewer window and media in one, that's the regular video. So just to keep everything organized, I'm going to relabel these by hitting F2 and I'm gonna say Roto 720. 720 and f2 and we're just gonna say uh video 1080. now to remove the green screen in between roto and merge we're gonna hit shift space and add a delta keyer delta keyer all we have to do is take this eyedropper and place it on the green and it goes away but you might not get a perfect key so to double check that while you have the delta keyer selected hit one on your keyboard and then you're going to click these three circles it's going to give you an alpha image all of these gray tones those are transparent so we need to just fix the mat real quick to do that we're going to go into the mat setting and just bring down the threshold a little bit more there we go and Anyways, this doesn't really help us because we just have a video and our uh, vandals in 720p now. So what we're going to do is um, something. I'm going to be honest. I, I kind of forgot where we connect stuff. Give me a second. I remembered. So we're taking the output of our Delta here, connecting it to this merge. Nothing happened because these are backwards. The background actually needs to go in the foreground. The foreground needs to go in the background. So to quickly change those, we're going to select our merge and hit control T. Bam. We're almost done here though. Let's go back to the edit page. We just have to render this fusion clip in place. So right click render in place, but we need a transparent background. And to get that, we need to have our format on QuickTime, And then we change our codec to DNX HR render it in place. So if you did this correctly, nothing should change. Highlight both clips, right click them, new fusion clip, go on into fusion. And now we can actually apply this glow. There's just one thing. You need a plugin that I created. Don't worry, it's for free. Just go into the Discord, you will find it. It's called SK Glow. Once you have it downloaded, all you're gonna do is drop it onto your timeline, like so, and now you have it. But unfortunately, DaVinci Resolve doesn't save this automatically, so you just have to right click, go to macro, create macro, 
check all these boxes and I mean you can name it whatever you want and then file save as anyways I'm just gonna delete it for right now um media in two let's bring that into this first viewer window by hitting one on our keyboard that's our roto video so we're gonna relabel this roto that means media in one that's our video we label this video perfect we're gonna rearrange these nodes like so now that you got the SK glow all you're gonna do is hit shift space and type in SK glow there it is it gets added in and now you have glow feel free to adjust any of these settings but i'm just gonna leave it at the default levels for this tutorial anyways this is all right but we're still missing a few things to really sell the effect uh number one we have this roto video so why don't we just add some blur to the background in between the video and the merge we're gonna hit shift space and add in a defocus node and you know you can just bring that up and feel free to keyframe this in and out but let's really sell this effect by adding a lens flare so right before my uh defocus node i'm gonna add in a tracker node and i'm just gonna place this somewhere on the vandal that should stay in frame we're going to change the adaptive mode to best match bring our match tolerance down to about point five and track forwards and backwards by right, bam it doesn't have to be perfect in the beginning because again we're going to keyframe this in i'm going to put a little space here and i'm going to hold shift and left click drag my tracker over here and now we can find a lens flare that we like so open up your effects type in lens flare or, or lens and then go to templates now you can just pick any one of these now there's just going to be a slight problem if we connect this i'm sure most of you know we need to change the operation mode to mesh move but still nothing happens that's because our lens flare needs a background of some sort so we're going to add in a background node connect that to the gold arrow yikes that's not what we want we want a transparent background so just slide the alpha all the way down just as a test i'm gonna place this where i want it all right there i think and kind of scrub through and it should be tracked to the vandal now i don't really like this lens flare though so i'm gonna find something else that's looking a little better one more thing that we could add is after the tracker we're gonna add in a flicker addition and just kind of adjust all these settings as you see fit the last thing we can do is add a transform node after everything so we really sell that camera lens looking effect and just keyframe everything in and out uh anyways that's how you add skin glow using davinci resolve and this silly little plugin that i made that's the end of the video goodbye